Welcome back to my little channel. Today I'm going to talk about whether professors, well, hashtag not all obviously, in universities across the Western world have lost their mental facilities. Now obviously, hashtag not all, etc, 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 but especially in America, but this is also not completely untrue in Europe. We have professors saying the most damnedest of things. Now, it started a few years ago when the University of Missouri, there was this protest and an assistant professor basically told students that wanted to report on it that they weren't welcome. And she actually called basically violence upon them. Is this the last line. Hi, media. Can I talk to you? No, you need no. to get out. Well, you need to get out. No, I don't. You need to get out. I actually don't. All right. Hey, who wants to help me get this reporter out of here? I need some muscle over here. Help me get him out. Who's going to help me? Well, no. And, and, and as a society, we seem to be letting this happen. These people are, are okay, I, I'm using the term a lot lately, but these people are oikophobic. It's something that's on my retina, I guess. I, I, I see it. I, I, I'm focused on it a bit. Maybe also because I notice that other people are now noticing it too, so I'm feeling more at ease to merely talk about this. Because these people, these professors, are shaping our youth. But if you shape them with oikophobic ideas, you push the oikophobia onto the next one. It's the same thing if you're in a house and you teach yourself to be scared of something and you teach your children to be scared of the same thing, your children will be scared of that same thing until they realize there is nothing to be scared of. But they won't realize that from themselves. They need someone else to help them get through this. Anyway, mad professors. Now, in, 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 in the UK, we had someone not too long ago talk about the only way to deal with um, uh, ecological disasters that are coming is to kill off all humans. And yes, this was a professor too. Then we had the bike lock incident. I'm not quite sure, but I think the dude that did that was a professor as well. Basically... Um, what was his um, what was his, the thing he he called it himself? He was teaching future dead cops, and somehow it's completely all right to say this. Well, in New York we have yet another example of the vileness of our academia. What do I mean? Well, let me share it with you. According to New York Post's New York University professor founded an anarchist group that attacked the subway people last month. Now, this is not that old an article. I know I'm not that fast. But here we have the person that is allegated to be responsible. Amin Hussein from Decolonize This Place, addressing the crowd at the rally outside of an American Museum of Natural History. This is the image we're seeing. And we see the funny thing, settler colonialism is deadly. And when I see a sign like that, I always have to think like, are you now basically telling the Western world to wake up and close their borders? To me, that's funny because you don't seem to be a typical Western world person. You're definitely not white. But somehow I'm going to say, you know what? I can agree to that. Personally, I don't think we have to close the walls to ethnicities, but we could close the walls to certain cultures. And obviously, Amen Hussein is a typical American name, and he is a New York University professor. This professor started a group, that group started a protest, um, if I read the complete article, I'm not going to do that now, but if I read the complete article, you can do that, by the way, link will be provided. It says that this professor has cleared most of its 
online activities because he doesn't want to be recognized for this i guess but yeah these people they smashed up a subway station destroying turnstiles stranding thousands of commuters and spraying fuck police on station walls maybe i shouldn't say that all out but hey you know what i'm not going to get monetized anyway and somehow these professors are educating our youth now i'm not going to say he's a bloody foreigner blah 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 though his name definitely isn't american but i can't understand how these people get into the positions where they are hell i work in healthcare and i have to constantly affirm to my government that i'm safe for children that i know how to behave around children don't these people have to do that is there something wrong with saying well you know what maybe we shouldn't let these idiots be out in public as much and it's almost as if it's getting worse more and more stupidity coming from these well temples of higher learning they used to call them but i'm trying to find a better name for them i don't even know what he was a professor of or what he is because as far as i know he hasn't been uh, sacked i mean it seems that the university themselves eh, they don't really care i mean he might be imparting his radical ethos to the students but uh, i mean he is teaching a class on militant activism i didn't know that was a thing eh, but i don't understand this i don't understand how these people are getting in positions and they're damaging our society now apparently he teaches a workshop called art activism and beyond and apparently that beyond thing is the whole thing there is something called experimental humanities at the uh, university of new york experimental humanities it, it, it doesn't get much stupider than that does it anyway read the article see if you can see what i see and share this people share this and if you know someone who goes to university talk to them listen to them wonder about what's going on what they're being taught and if they then say silly things don't blame them they're being indoctrinated and it takes a lot of effort to break your own doctrination you need help with that this is um i don't know criticism as always is more than welcome like share and subscribe if you feel so inclined and i love to hear what you think and if you have examples of university protest protesters yeah, look at me university professors gone mad please share them i look forward to reading on them and maybe i'll make a video about them as well maybe i should do that anyway see you all next time